Good morning. My name is Alan Brown. I'm an assistant professor with the Department of Horticultural Science here at the Plants for Human Health Institute at the North Carolina Research Campus. Uh, my work primarily involves the genetics and stability of secondary metabolites, uh, compounds that are produced by plants that are not inherently involved with the, the, the growth or development or sexual reproduction of plants, but are, 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 are secondary compounds. And many of these secondary compounds have impacts on human health. Uh, we're interested in trying to understand how these compounds are, are, are produced by fruits and vegetables and how they have an impact on, on chronic diseases, uh, particularly cancer, diabetes, and other disorders. About half of my work here is involved in broccoli. We're looking at compounds that have impacts on cancer and, and, and other chronic disorders. And about half of my work here is involved in blueberry. One of the projects that we're involved here is producing the first genomic sequence of blueberry, and we're working with other units on the campus, including uh, UNC Charlotte and the David H. Murdoch Research Institution, to try to produce a fully annotated, complete sequence of the blueberry genome. The sequencing of the blueberry genome is expected to yield new discoveries in both medical and agricultural research. Led by faculty in the Plants for Human Health Institute, the sequencing effort is a major step toward understanding the genetic information of the blueberry. It will help identify which genes are responsible for making the health protective natural components in the fruit. The sequencing project is one of the initial collaborative efforts at the campus. Bioinformatics experts are integral team members. Their access to computing power to analyze the huge amount of genomic data is key. Broccoli is another plant with superfood status. Here at the Institute, researchers seek to breed a better broccoli that packs an even bigger punch when it comes to cancer-fighting properties. Probably more studies have been done about the anti-carcinogenic nature of broccoli than, than almost any other fruit or vegetable. We've identified material that has higher levels of some of these compounds that have anti-carcinogenic properties and we are trying to pyramid some of these compounds into a single genetic background to produce a superior or super broccoli, if you will, that will have a, a dramatic impact on, on human health and will provide a added on value to the growers here in the state. One of the things that we're involved here is, is uh, developing new cabbage varieties as well for North Carolina growers. Uh, the Monsanto Corporation very graciously donated uh, the former Asgro Breeding Company's seed stocks to us and we've been utilizing this material to develop uh, varieties that are more adapted to North Carolina. Varieties that are adapted to heat tolerance, that have some heat tolerance in there, that are, are resistant to black rot, fusarium yellows and some of the other uh, issues that we have here in North Carolina.